What's up everybody? Moving on to the next example, we have to determine the equations of the tangents on the function x squared that pass through the point one and negative three. Now, this question is pretty difficult. It's actually probably one of the tougher questions that you'll get in this course. And the algebra is not going to be difficult, but just setting everything up and seeing what's actually going on is going to be difficult. So I'm going to do my best to explain it. And I'm going to be using a lot of diagrams and a lot of different algebra. So try your best to follow along. So if we take this and graph it, this here represents the function x squared. It's just a parabola. And then if we take that point 1 and negative 3, that would be over here. So the first thing to realize about this question that's different than other questions is that this point 1 and negative 3 is not on the function. Because usually what happens is we're finding equations of the tangents on a function and we're using an x value or a coordinate that is on the function as well. But in this case, we have to find equations of tangents to this function x squared, but they are going through a point that is not on the function. So if we draw these tangents in blue here, notice how they're tangent to the function x squared, so they're just touching the function each at one point, and they're also both going through this point 1 and negative 3. So we have to find the equations of these two blue lines. That's what the question is asking us to do. So the first thing we want to do is let's work with this blue line here, this tangent, and let's find the point on the function for which this tangent, this blue line, is hitting. So let's say that this point here has an x value of a. So this coordinate here, the tangent on the function, has a coordinate of a. Now if the x value is a, because this function is x squared, we know that the y value is going to be a squared. So now that we have a line with two different points, let's find the slope of that line. And we know that the slope of a line is equal to rise over run. So we know that the slope of this line is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the y2, let's say it's this a squared, minus the y1, which is like this negative 3 here, over x2, uh, which is this a value, and then minus the x value of the coordinate, which is 1. So this simplifies to a squared plus 3 over a minus 1. So that is the slope of this line here. We just use the rise over run formula. Now because this line is also tangent to the curve x squared, we can find the slope of this line using the derivative. So if we have f of x, equals x squared, then we know the derivative of that using the power rule is just 2x. So then at an x value of a, the value of the derivative would be 2a. So that there, 2a, represents an expression for this slope as well. So notice how we have two expressions for the same slope. So the first expression is this one over here, this a squared plus 3 over a minus 1, which we just got with the rise over run formula. And we also have this expression here, this 2a, which represents the value of the derivative of this function at that x value of a. So because these expressions represent the slope of the same line, then we know that these two expressions have to equal. So then we make those expressions equal to each other, and now we can solve for a. And that's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to cross multiply. But as I said, the algebra is simple. Even this diagram is pretty simple. But recognizing that these two expressions are representing the same slope and then making them equal, that is the tough part. The tough part is getting or realizing that you can get two different expressions for that same slope. One way is with the rise over run formula and the other way is with the derivative. 
and then since those equal we can now just solve for a so when we cross multiply we have 2a squared minus 2a equals a squared plus 3 and then bring everything over to the left side we'd have a squared minus 2a minus 3 equals 0 this is just a quadratic equation it uh, factors smoothly into a minus 3 a plus 1 equals 0 so a is equal to negative 1 and positive 3 now notice how we got two solutions here when we were just solving for this a value here and the reason why we got two solutions is because they actually gave us the x value of the other coordinate for this tangent as well so we kind of got like a two for one deal so this a value here is equal to three and then this a value here the x value of this coordinate is equal to negative one so we solve for both of those x values for these tangents on the function in one step. So now that we have those x values, we can get the equations for both of these tangents. So let's call this tangent here line one, and let's find its equation first. So we already have a coordinate for which it's going through. So we know line one is going through the coordinate one and negative three. Another coordinate it's going through is three and nine. We can just plug in that a value of 3 here into this coordinate on the function. But let's just use the one we're given. Now the slope of this line, we can plug that a value of 3 either into this expression or this expression, the derivative. So I think this one is more simple to work with. So if we plug in 3 for the a value, we would get a slope of 6. And if we plugged in 3 into the a value here, we would also get a slope of 6. So whichever one, both work, both will give you the same slope. So now we have a slope of 6, y equals 6x plus b. And now we can solve for that b value with this coordinate 1, negative 3, because we know that that line is going through that coordinate. So plugging in negative 3 for y and then 1 for x. We can solve for that b value, bring the 6 over, so we have negative 9 equals b. So the equation of line 1 is going to be 6x minus 9. So that's the equation of this tangent here, this blue line, line 1. y equals 6x minus 9. And then getting the equation for line 2, so this tangent right here, we know that this line is also going through a point 1 and negative 3. Now, what's its slope going to be? Well, we know that here, the x value of this coordinate is going to be negative 1. So that other a value is equal to negative 1. So we can find the slope of this line by plugging in that x value negative 1 into the derivative or into that other slope expression that we have. This one is easier to work with. So 2 times negative 1 would give us negative 2. And if we plug in negative 1 for a here in this slope expression, we'd also get that uh, slope value of negative 2. So either way works. So now we have the slope of this line, and we can solve for that b value with that coordinate that the line is going through. So plugging in negative 3 for y, and then positive 1 for x, Bring the negative 2 over, negative 3 plus 2 gives us negative 1, so that's our b value. So our final equation for line 2 is negative 2x minus 1. So that there is the equation of this tangent here. So those two are our answers right there. So again, the algebra is not too bad. The toughest part is recognizing that we can get two expressions for the slope of the tangent. One way is with the way that we're working with in this whole chapter, the derivative. But the other way is we can also do rise over run and get this expression, make them equal to each other. I erase that part and then solve for the a. We get two a values, three and negative one. And now that we have those, we can find the equations of the lines, and we end up getting y equals 6x minus 9 for that first line, and then y equals negative 2x minus 1 for that second line.
Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.